is Nina here with Human Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to week 28 of our science class. We are beginning a new unit today and for the rest of the unit, we're going to be covering computer science and safety. Our lesson for today is computer uses. If you're ready, let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome back. It's so good to have you. Hi. If you have your workbook, you may turn to page 73, which is where we'll be today. We're talking about the use of a computer. Do you own a computer? Yes, well, we own several computers or computer um, like machines, such as this smartphone the smartphone is a computer so it's um, a condensed version but it's a computer there are several types of computers you can have the regular laptops which are becoming more and more common they're very portable you can take them wherever you need to go there's the um smartphone which is what we've been talking about there's also a desktop the desktop or is the stationary computer that comes with the traditional mouse and traditional keypad, which we will be talking about that in one or two weeks time. And so this is the example I'm gonna be using to demonstrate today. We have, the purpose of a computer has several roles. You can use a computer in your home, in your office, at your school. Some people just take their computers with themselves, you know, wherever they need to go to do certain things. And um, today we're going to talk about some uses. So you can use your computer your smartphone device or any kind of computer like machine for several things. You can write stories. So oftentimes I'll write in on my computer or any one of our computers, we write stories. You can write, you know, hi, my name is Mrs. You know, Nita. So let's see. Well, not Nara, but Nita. There we go. So there, I wrote a short story. <laughs> I wrote, hi, my name is Mrs. Dita. Can you see that? Yes, so um, so that's one way you can use it. You guys to write stories, write, compose any kind of message on your phone. You can also use it to watch videos. Have you ever used your phone to, or your computer to watch videos? Yeah, well, you know what? If you have gone through pre-K, you may have watched these videos. Have you seen? Some of our HHA videos. So this is one way you can use your computer or your smart smartphone computer device. You can also use it to listen to music. Mm, do you listen to music? I like listening to music too. I actually, I love listening to music. So this is one. Listen to music. You can use your own computer, any one of your computers to listen to music as well. You can just listen and listen and have a great time in the Lord. You can also use it to create art. You can find um, on your computer, you may use certain applications to create art, make pictures, draw images, and there are lots of software applications for that. You can also play games on your computer or on your smartphone device, which is also a computer. You can play different video games and whatnot. I don't typically use my computers for games, um, but you can do that. You can also do online shopping. Who knew? You can go on to Amazon or any of your favorite online um, marketplaces and you can um, purchase things. You can actually make transaction online using your computer. Isn't that really cool? So there are lots of different ways you can use your computer. Which ways do you like to use your computer? I'm sure you have several ways as well. I wonder if we name some of those today. Keep thinking about that this week. Maybe if you have a computer of your own, your mommy and daddy will allow you to use it to compose a story, listen to music, um, perhaps write stories, create art, do different things like that. Worship God, watch your HHJ videos. Are you using a computer today? I'm sure you are. Thank you so much for coming to class today. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born